Hello, dear friend. How are you doing today? Patrick here. <clears throat> My voice is a little bit off. I was feeling a little under the weather. Wanted to share with you a video just to follow up on the video I did the other day talking about um, mountain. You know, I was reading from Mark 4 or something, Mark 11, I can't remember. The, um, you know, if you believe in your heart, you can you can move mountains, right? And I, and I was thinking to myself about um, the mountain that I was talking about in the video. But anyway, I um, put it out of my mind and I, I wasn't feeling good. So I decided I um, decided to take a bath yesterday, something I don't do that often. I'm, I take, try and take a shower, you know, every day, right? But um, I don't take a bath that often. But anyway, every couple of weeks, whatever, you know, I take a bath. So I said, I'm, I'm going to take a bath, draw the bath, put the put the hot water on, and um, I'm meditating, you know. And I was thinking of the scripture that says, you know, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, all your soul. I was thinking of that. You know, I was thinking, how can I love God more? And I'm sitting there meditating, and I was meditating on that particular scripture. And um, what came into my mind was that I realized that that mountain prayer that I prayed was so inconsequential. It seemed to me anyway. You know, I think I had prayed that, oh, God, you know, I was praying about um, the leader of our country, that he's an antichrist and that we need to get a new leader in. And I was praying for Pierre Paulia, that he would uh, get elected as prime minister. And I thought, you know, that's so inconsequential. That it's something that I have nothing to do with, that God has that under control, has nothing to do with me, right? There's going to be leaders here. There's going to be leaders there. They go up and down like yo-yos, right? And so I kind of felt a little bit embarrassed or ashamed or something about that as being a, a mountainous prayer. So as I was meditating, I thought I should pray for my ancestors. Well, does that make any sense? I, it doesn't make any sense to pray for your ancestors. But I was thinking of the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our sins. And I thought again about us, forgive us. And so... What I did was, I prayed on behalf of my earthly father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, and I went and I counted out on my fingers to the 10th generation, my great-great-great-grandfather and great-great-great-great-great-great-great, kept counting it out, and I said, Father in heaven, please forgive us, I, I, I want to love you more, God, please forgive us, and then I did the same thing. I tried to pray on behalf of my ancestors saying that we forgive anybody that's harmed us. We forgive anybody that's tried to, to kill us or slander us or speak bad about us. And so I, I did the same thing. I went through to the 10th generation on my fingertips. And then I said, I finished by saying, and any generation before that to the time of Adam. And I said, I don't know if we descend through Cain or Abel or Adam, but I was praying that if I could pray on behalf of all my ancestors, because I'm the last branch on that tree, I'm the, I'm the last one from that. There's a, there's a great documentary by uh, uh, National Geographic called Scientific Adam, where they went and they traced the DNA and traced everybody back to this, to this individual Adam person. And so, you know, I was, I was praying like that. Anyway, that's what I was, wanted to talk about today because after I was finished praying um, I have my music beside me and the song that was playing was um, knocking on heaven's door now the funny thing is that I had listened to the song when I was not well when I thought I was gonna die in January and I always thought of the song as um, getting ready to die right because this was a sad song it was written by bob dylan 
imagine that movie, 1973. I looked it up. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. He wrote that song for that movie. And I actually went and saw that movie as a kid. Can you believe that? That my parents would let me see a movie when I was like, what? Friggin', I had to be, I don't know. I don't want to say my age, right? But I'm freaking under under 10 years old going to see a movie, freaking, you know. Actually, I wasn't born yet. I'm lying. <laughs> right? No, 1973, I see this movie. Chris Christopherson is playing Billy the Kid. He doesn't look at all like you imagine him. He looked more like a young Val Kilmer or something, you know? And also um, James Coburn. I don't know if anybody remembers James Coburn was uh, the um, Pat Garrett. He's the sheriff, right? Uh, James Coburn was uh, in the movie Armand Flint, which was a very impressionable movie on me as a kid. I don't know if he made that before or after that. I can't remember. But anyway... That was the song that was playing after I had finished praying. And the song that I had listened to when I was sick, when I thought I was going to die, that was the version by Frank Watkinson. He's an older gentleman, very talented older gentleman, and he would play that song. Um, and it's, again, it's very melancholy, it's very sad, and it's the song about a guy who's getting ready to die, right? It's, 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 uh, it was originally written for, for the... Uh, Billy the Kid is, is dying. The sheriff's coming to shoot him or something, right? I, I forget how the story goes. But when I heard the version, the, I was listening to the Bob Dylan version. And the Bob Dylan version, it struck me totally differently. And instead of a song about getting ready to die, it, it, there was something inside my heart and mind that allowed me to interpret it as if I was trying to tap into the spiritual realm. I was praying and I was trying to pray to God and trying to knock on heaven's door. I was trying to say, what's going on in there? I don't know what my ancestors are doing. I don't know who's watching me. I want to be found faithful when I go there. And so um, I want to share that song with you, that particular version, the version by Bob Dylan. It's very short. Um, but, and of course, there's the version by, um, you know, Guns N' Roses. They took it and turned it into a drunken, fueled, karaoke, ridiculous stage uh, extravaganza, right? Um, which is, you know, it was from when I was in my, when I was a young moron, maniac. Don't listen to that bullshit anymore. I, I mean, you know, unless you're at a drunk karaoke party, sure, go ahead, listen to it, I don't care. But um, no, not, not, not Guns N' Roses version, not Frank Watkinson's version, which is a beautiful version, by the way. Um, but I, I want to share with you the Bob Dylan version, and maybe it'll speak to you. Um, probably not, but hey, it's worth a try, right? Um, and on that note, I want to thank... Um, the dear friends that uh, may actually see this video and the support that I've been getting from um, different uh, people. The only friends that I do have are in cyberspace. I don't have any friends in, in, in the real world because anybody that meets me um, probably doesn't want to be my friend <laughs> for very long. Pardon me. But um, uh, Sister Shawi, um, thank you so much for your support. Uh, Amyat Singh, thank you so much. God bless you, my dear sister, for your support. And, of course, uh, Angel Abbey, uh, thank you for your kind uh, friendship. And uh, many others, uh, Beth, and, and uh, many others um, that I can't think off the top of my head, and people that have provided me feedback and things like that. I want to say thank you to my virtual friends, my cyber friends who are out there and who I love very much, and I pray that you're doing well. So how am I doing for time? I'm going on and on again. But thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you very much. I'm going to put a link to that song. And I just want to ask you that if you have a mountain that you're praying for, take that prayer and go into your inner prayer closet. Find a time to meditate, maybe in a bathtub. That works. Um, or, or in your inner prayer closet. And pray and say, God, what is the mountain that I should be praying for? Is there a mountain that I should be praying for? And it may not be the original answer 
If somebody came up to you and say, if you could ask God for anything, what would you ask him for? If you could ask God for anything, what, and, and you were able to believe in your heart that you would receive that, what would you ask God for? Would it be riches, fame, talent, you know, ability of some kind? And then take your first answer and then meditate on that answer and see if it's the same answer. For me, it wasn't the same answer. For you, it may be. Um, but I would encourage you that this is a magnificent promise we have from our teacher, our Savior, our Lord, who said that if you say to a mountain, move, and you believe in your heart that you'll receive what you're asking for, it, it, it'll be granted to you. And so that's a, that's a, I'll have to reread that again because I'm not reading it right. But that's a powerful, powerful message to us that we should have faith, we should love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Pardon me, the uh, Java's coming up on me here. And so for me, I, I wanted to um, be faithful to my ancestors to confess and ask for forgiveness to anything that they've done on behalf of them. I don't know if that's biblical, scriptural, or doctrinally correct, and I don't really care. And I also want to confess that we forgive anybody that's harmed us, if that's possible. Again, I don't know. I don't care, but it, it felt good to do that and to count out those generations on my fingertips for whatever reason. And so, um, you know, I don't know how it works. You know, there was a, I got into a bit of an argument. I saw a guy who was shot. He, he uh, had stolen a U-Haul truck and the police caught up to him or, or I don't know, maybe he didn't steal it. It was alleged, right? I don't know, maybe just accidentally forgot to return it. And the police got up to him and, and they got into a scuffle. He tried to grab the policeman's gun, which was a pretty serious mistake to make. And so a bunch of other police came and he was a big guy. The policeman was a smaller guy. And then an even bigger guy, policeman, grabbed him, pulled him out and, and uh, you know, shot him in the face three times and um, killed him. And I was trying to argue with this person saying, when he goes to heaven, how is he going to, uh, you know, what, what's going to happen? How is he going to talk? He's not going to get a good place to stay because a lot of people are going to say, I don't want him staying near, near my place. And the person said, no, no, they're, they're going to, they're, he doesn't get to go to heaven. He's going to go to hell. I said, no, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that, right? He's got people that love him. Maybe he believed in God when he was young. And it, it, it ended up descending into chaos. But I couldn't get my head around it. So I hope that his family is comforted and I hope that he's able to find a small place to stay in eternity and that those flames will be flames of regret and not and not real flames but I'm hoping that he will have a place in eternity with God recognizing his mistake and um, it's just a, a sad thought probably something else I should be praying about Anyway, sorry to go on so long, but um, I um, I just hope that you're doing well. I hope that uh, you're blessed and happy wherever you are. Weekend is here, Friday, TGIF. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope that you're happy, that you're able to spend time with people you love. I hope that you're able to spend time in prayer, in serious prayer with God, and that God blesses you and honors your prayers and gives you your heart's desire, whatever that may be. I'm sure it would be something that would be a blessing to you and a blessing to the people around you, a blessing to your community, a blessing to your country. And I'm hoping that we can pray for good things and for good things for humanity, good things for each other, good things for the earth. So thank you for watching once again. Thank you for your kind support. Thank you for new subscribers and um, for people that um, share it and like the video and um, 
subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have yourself a fantastic day. I hope to talk to you again soon. I'll try and find something more positive to talk about. And um, I'll try and maybe shorten these videos so that I don't drone on so long. And then um, I'll try and find something that um, is more interesting for people to listen to so that um, I can grow a bigger audience because I really appreciate uh, meeting new people online and uh, supporting them and having them support me in return. It's um, a wonderful opportunity to have a global community and um, cyber friends, virtual friends. God bless you. I love you very much. Have yourself a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Bye-bye.